ready, get set. It's a first look with the O Brother Podcast. Welcome back to another first look with the O Brother Podcast. Mike, we're back. We're doing a first look on, I know a movie you're jazzed up about already. You I can't wait. You haven't even wait. seen this trailer. No, this is the first time I've seen the trailer. I saw a teaser mm -hmm. and that didn't really tell me much. I know the story of Tetris, but since it's a video game and it's being released on Apple, I'm curious as how it'll do, but let's take a look at the first look. Yeah, so this is a Tetris trailer and this is scheduled to come out March 31st, 31st. On, on Apple TV. So let's uh, let's take a look at this here. That was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I played for five minutes. I still see falling blocks in my dreams. It's poetry, art and math, all working in magical synchronicity. It's, it's the perfect game. Tetris. 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 I don't get it. It's a combination of tetra, Greek for four, and tennis. Tennis. The Russian inventor, he likes tennis. Nasal. Yeah. This game isn't just addictive, it stays with you. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Hank, only 10 other people in the world have seen what you're about to see. It's called the Game Boy. Package them with Tetris. Can you get us the rights? The Soviet Union had worldwide rights. Nothing gets out easily. I'm gonna go to Moscow. You're walking into a country that still considers America enemy numero uno. Okie dokie. You sure you don't have to talk to your wife about this first? Pioneers have to bet the house to win. But not literally. Listen. Have you ever heard our apartment this quiet before? This is the inventor of Tetris. Your game is brilliant. I'm gonna make you a millionaire. Mr. Rogers, have you ever negotiated with the Soviets? We're here for Tetris. We've seen this talk What do you say? I don't speak Russian. <laughs> <laughs> the most powerful man in communist party is watching you and your family. Do you know where your husband is? What the hell is going on? The world is changing, and Soviet Union will not be left behind. You wanna play with the big boys? This is how the world works. Where is my money? This is insane. We can't protect you. Sometimes you gotta forget the rules. We'll the same again. Go, 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 go! This is criminal. The Soviet Union is about to implode. They're lying, everybody's lying. Oh, oh. The cavalry is coming. We don't have time. I have a plan. Oh, come on. You guys are the kings of cliffhangers. Not the bat. Now I can see just how j I just I was I was watching you more than I think I was watching the trailer because you <laughs> you were like a kid. My eyes would store. go up. My eyes would go wide. So what do you think? You're you're the one to comment on this one. Well, you know because I know some of the backstory. I don't know what they've changed for the movie. I wanted to hear what you had to say because you're looking at a blank slate. You don't really know the history. Of Tetris. No, I had no idea there was like espionage involved or whatever was. I mean, I had no idea. Any okay, it was part of the story. So I'm going to start like in the middle of the story. Mm -hmm. See Atari. I have this Atari logo from 50 years. Yeah, this Atari comes into the picture about three quarters, maybe. Yeah, about three quarters of the way into the movie is what I'm guessing, because what happened was. Tetris was made in Russia by a guy named, I, his first name is Alexei or Alexa Paginov. Mm -hmm. And he created this game. And if if you look real close in the trailer, for anyone who wants to you know, know more about this, watch it again. You'll see him playing this game of wooden blocks. And it was originally a little board game where you put the shapes in and you got to fill the board and it's got to be even. Mm -hmm. So in his brain, he took that and he was working for the computer something or other in Russia. So anything he created belonged to Russia. This is Cold War Russia. So we have no relationship with them. 
So anyways, he creates Tetris. People fall in love with it. It comes to the United States via, via computer. So he signs a deal with this guy and says, you know, you own the rights to Tetris on any computer system. People don't think this is a computer system. I think we would argue now it is. Mm -hmm. It has a processor, but they were very clever in the contract. I remember reading about it. They put in the contract, computer means has to have a keyboard, all the things that this doesn't have. But this was the original Game Boy came with a pack in of Tetris. And a quick story is I bought it. I saw this the first time I thought this is wild. There was a Mario game playing Super Mario Land. Mm -hmm. So I bought it. I pulled in the pack in it's Tetris. I'm, I put it in. I'm like, I don't get this. And I threw it. I literally like threw it on the table and I started playing Mario and, the, and tennis came out too. And there was one other game. So to make this long story yeah, <laughs> sure, let's... even longer, it's about the licensing. What happened was the countries were fighting over the licensee. Individuals were fighting over the license. Pageanoff didn't make a penny until something like 1989 when you saw that the lead actor is who? Edgerton? Taron Edgerton? Yeah. And, you know, he felt bad. Pageanoff because he made it for Mother Russia, it was theirs. So anyways, that's like a long-winded story. Yeah, I, I never knew any of that. I never really, you know, researched it or, you know. But, uh, I mean, and Taron Edgerton must be, uh, I said to you, he, he may be, you know, becoming an Apple TV staple. I mean, he was he was just in that short short series, uh, Ray Liotta's last series, I think it was, I think it was Blackbird on Apple oh, TV. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it's, it. it's only about like six, seven episodes, and uh, it's pretty good. And he's a really good actor. Pajanoff finally got the rights to things, you know, to maybe arcade games or something, enough to make him rich. But he made all sorts of spinoffs. One of my favorites that people might have never heard of is Tetrisphere. This is for the Nintendo 64. Yeah, I've never seen it, that. And it starts in a ball, same shapes, but it's a ball because it's in 3D and you have to pull the shapes out and get to the core. It's a great game. There's also on the Game Boy, there's a game called Hattress. So let me ask you, why now? I think because, you know, they're not releasing this in the theater. And I think if they did, it, it might tank. The only ones who are going to see this are video game people in the theater wouldn't you say it would be a tough sell well yeah but then you get taron edgerton he, he's he's that he's that helps fairly, he's fairly bankable you know? right and i don't know if you noticed there was a clip of Mik mikhail gorbachev it wasn't the real gorbachev it was an actor right but he yeah, I didn't i didn't think they the exhumed him from the uh the beyond and then brought yeah um uh, he gets involved that's how high up yeah and how much money you know, how many copies do you think sold of Tetris? No. You mean like to date? Yeah, to date. No idea. 170 billion. Wow, billion with a B. Yeah. Now, what is the state of Tetris today? Dude, I play it every night. Yeah, every there's, night. There's not like a recent iteration of Tetris, is there? There is. On, there the, is. on the Nintendo Switch, okay. you can play Tetris 100. And what it is, is you're playing against hundred people or 99 people you're the oh. hundred well you you seem to have a pretty good uh grasp on the on the story behind this so i think you're you know your take after we see the film that's going to be pretty interesting right. i'm curious i can't wait to see the reaction it gets on you know like the fan websites mm -hmm. that we usually kind of dismiss yeah because i think that'll be the tell because we're not going to know how much money it makes it already right. made its money. Apple already bought it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I'm looking. I mean, listen, I'm looking forward to it. I didn't know that history. It makes it that much more intriguing for me. So yeah, uh, and uh, the trailers. Uh, you know, it's the trailer was enough. long and was long. After you see the movie, go back and watch the trailer, mm -hmm. and I bet you'll see these things that you're like, oh, I remember that. I, I I'm thinking because I've only seen the trailer. And and while you're at it, go out to the uh, Oh Brother 
podcast YouTube channel and check out our new show trailer that we got out there. Yeah, at OHB Podcast. Now, if you want to find us on YouTube, you can find us. Our handle is at O Brother Podcast uh, or the O Brother Podcast, but you can look us up. We're the one and only uh, O Brother Podcast, quite frankly. So there you go. First look, Tetris, March 31st, Apple TV. What do you think? You excited or be there or be doot, 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 square? Yeah. I don't know. No, I'm excited. Do, 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 yeah, I'm, do, do, I'm, I'm do, 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 intrigued by it. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, you'll, you'll learn a lot. Mm -hmm. about licensing and that stuff. And that's what I'm afraid they'll get caught up in, in that minutia. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's got a little bit of everything. Some action, yeah. some comedy, drama, you know. Yeah. Video yeah. games. So Right. It's what we're all about here at the O Brother Podcast. <laughs> we're trying to broaden our horizons, right? That's right. All right. That's all right. another first look at the O Brother Podcast. We will see you next time.